Welcome to Brunsonthorpe Airfield on a dark, dreary and generally miserable morning. It's nice weather for ducks, as you can see, but for road testers, I don't think so. The bad weather doesn't actually matter today. We've got some of the biggest carbon emitters on the road to test. We're going to see if we can't create a bit of localised global warming with them. Stand by then for the most environmentally unfriendly drag race you've ever seen. Here we are then, up ahead, two miles of the emptiest concrete in rural Leicestershire, and on my right, in order, the Infiniti FX50, Porsche's KN Turbo, BMW's brand new X6M, and the Range Rover Sport Supercharged. Between them, these cars produce 1.4 kilograms of carbon dioxide per kilometre. That makes you feel good to be alive, doesn't it? We'll deal with the brand new talent first. It's the BMW X6M. It's got the same 547 horsepower V8 as the next M5, or so we hear, 77,000 pounds, a whisker under 2.4 tonnes. BMW claims 4.7 seconds for 62 and 155 miles an hour flat out. I think we can safely call this one the favourite. Or at least we could if it wasn't sat next to Porsche's incredible KN Turbo. It weighs about the same as the BMW, it's got a slightly larger turbo V8 but only produces 493 horsepower. Porsche charges just over 75k for one and claims 5.1 to 62 but in our experience it's actually a bit quicker than that. The Range Rover Sport Supercharged has just had a very convincing facelift and it's grown some bigger teeth in the process. It's got a new 5 litre force fed motor with 503 horsepower, it costs a 5 or under 62 grand, it weighs nearly 2.6 tonnes and officially it takes almost 6 seconds to hit 62 miles an hour. Still, should be a contender at the very least. And finally, another newcomer to these shores, Infiniti's FX50S. Let's call this one the outsider. It's only got 385 horsepower after all, but on paper it's faster to 62 than the Range Rover and at 53 grand it costs fully 24,000 pounds less than the BMW. Interesting. Right, I'm going to drive the Infiniti, not because I think it's the fastest car here, but actually because I think it's the slowest. And what that'll mean is we'll have a front row seat of exactly what's going on ahead of us as this lot disappear into the distance. We're not going to do anything complicated. There'll be no stamping on brake pedals. All we're going to do, turn the traction off, set the auto boxes in D, and on the count of three, We'll floor the throttle and we'll see what happens. That's as complicated as it gets. Right, you ready guys? Three, two, one, go! Okay, here we go, the BMW's got the best start, that's 60 miles an hour now. The KN's going with him though. The Land Rover and the Infiniti, about level, but the Land Rover's oh, it's really making use of its power now. 110 miles an hour. Look at that, the BMW and the Porsche have just disappeared into the spray. 130, coming up on the kilometre now. Ah, oh, the BMW is walking, and we're last. So, there you have it, the winner of our sports SUV standing kilometre sprint off is BMW's Bad Boy X6M. You might not like it, but you can't deny that it's quick. <laughs>